right, farmers, it's Thursday the 18th of January, and we're back with some mods. So first up is Fire Department, this is by Bernie Esk, 9.77 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it in the construction menu, and under decorations and others. So there it is, 60 grand to place down, and it's, it's a fire department, as the name would suggest. Now you can open up these doors on the front. I mean, it is in German, so if you don't know what German is, yeah. It's, it's basically a warning sign, if you park there, you're going to get towed. As you can well imagine, why would you want to park in front of a fire department door? Obviously, if your house is burning down, you want the engines to come out to you. But once you've got the doors open, you can then go inside, obviously store your equipment in, your emergency pack, if you've got that downloaded. Yeah, it can set off a little bit of a role play situation on the go. Open up that door, I mean, it's got a drive through option, so if you've got one of the... The, well, I suppose they're all the same sort of length-ish, really. I mean, there's a drive through option on the go there. I mean, you can't get into that part of the building. So it's just the storage of the vehicles. But, yeah, if you want to get it into your role play, sort of like, I don't know, like Tudor and Stuart style building. Yeah, very nice. Right next is the Lizard Atomizer 440. This is by Vulex and IMTM. 4.65 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this under grape technology. So obviously this is going to be for spraying your grapes and olives to be fair. I mean it's under grape technology but obviously you can do it on both. Which is fair enough. Now it's got a 400 litre capacity. So that's going to be doing your herbicide and your fertiliser. 45 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 3 metre working width. Or to be fair, if you're doing grapes and olives, 3 metre is more than enough. Not a problem. 1800 to buy. The only option is to change the main colour, which is the tank. Fair enough. Now, I've got one mounted to the back of me, Black Beauty. And to be fair, it's, it's just a sprayer. But the, the fan moves at the back. That's awesome. Oh, I like that. I mean, it's just a little something. You know, small things, please. Small minds. But I like it. Very nice. Well, and the last mod for the day is the Clash Trion 700. This is by Gef25. 28.24 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these two, because there's two of them, in the harvester menu. So we've got the 75720 here to start with, 367 horsepower engine, 18 mile an hour top speed, 10,500 litre grain tank, 357,500 to buy. You can then change the engine horsepower up to 408, and that also changes the grain tank up to 12,000. We got to the 750, which is 435 horsepower and 12,000 litre grain tank. And then back to the 720. So the grain tank goes up with the engine horsepower. And then you've got the option of Trelleborg, Continental, Michelin, Midas, BKT, Vredestein, and then back to Trelleborg. Now there is tracks on there if you want to go for that sort of thing. I do like tracks on a harvester. It makes it look ace. You then got straw distribution width. This is around the back. So 6 meter, 7 meter, 8 meter, 9, 10, and then up to 11. So if you want to spread your straw out, if you're not collecting it, that is, then you do it like that. You then got a ladder on the front. So that's going to be standard or foldable. You then got beacon lights. So we've got standard, double flash, or standard. You then got field scanner. Yes or no. No, that's not really going to do much for us on console, but it's just there for the aesthetic. We then got three brake light. Now, you've got a couple of options. So the first one is going to be the safety bar, so just above the straw spreader. You then got an option for one on the pipe or back to nothing. So you go for whichever one you want. You then got unloading spout, so you've got standard or pivoting. So if you wanted to move it, you know, if you're going into different trailers, that sort of thing. We then got pipe, so we've got the 330 mil. We've got an XL, an XXL, a 3XL, a 4XL, and then an L. Right there, fair enough. So you've got 330 mil diameter on the old pipe, and it goes from 4XL all the way down to normal, or just to large, whichever one you want to call it. It's just fair enough. Now, the second one in this pack is a little bit strange, because it's exactly the same as the original one. It's a Montana Special Edition. I'm not quite sure what's special about it because the maximum the grain tank goes up to is 11,000. So it's 11, 000, it's 1,000 less than the standard one at its maximum capacity. Hmm. All right, fair enough. I mean, does it cost the same? 379.5. That's more expensive as well. Same engine outputs. 
I'm just wondering why you'd go for a special edition. I mean, if you're from Montana and you want to get one from your hometown, then fair enough. But all right, fair enough. I mean, apart from that, it does look good, mind you. We've got a few updates as well. We've got the Class Zerion 3000 Saddle Track by Smetty. The Class Lexion 410480 by Eid123. The Lizard T30 by Castan18 and Hatchback Modding. The Lizard T25 by Castan18 and Hatchback Modding. The Kuhn TC320 by Agra Design Austria. The Metal Box and Wood Box by Black Tiger. Small Hall by Ikas. Lizard Liquid Manure Tank by Mr. Hector. Large Multi Fruit Grain Silo by The Lort. The Emergency Pack by Creative Mesh. And the Pumps and Hoses Pack DLC. So that's your mods done for you. Why not hit that join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.